Today's video contains a paid partnership with Stillnest, one of my absolute favorite ethical jewelry brands. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Finding your color type and curating a color palette that brings out the best in you has really gotten its comeback over the past couple of years. And although this is an amazing tool and will really be a revelation, I think, for many people, I know that it might not be accessible for some of you for some reason or the other right now. So in today's video, I thought I wanted to share the concept of universal colors just to help take taking out some of the mystery of adding colors to your wardrobe that not only works with what you might have in your wardrobe, but that actually also looks good on you. So universal colors simply mean colors that basically anyone can wear regardless of what color type you might be. So these colors are colors that you will find across different palettes of colors for different color types. So a client asked me a while back what would happen if she wore a color that wasn't in her palette that theoretically didn't suit her. And the answer to this is nothing. Nothing bad is going to happen. It's not rocket science. It's simply a styling tool to help you narrow down some of the endless color possibilities that's out there, but, but definitely also help you finding some power colors that really bring out the best in you. The goal with finding colors that work in harmony with you and your natural features is essentially that you wanna be wearing the color, it shouldn't be the other way around. So I think most people would agree that they would rather hear you look stunning than that's a stunning blouse you're wearing. And you can definitely also make colors that you might already have in your wardrobe if it's an item you really love wearing. I have some items like that myself, for example. You can definitely make those items work just by making sure that you combine them in a way, again, that works with your dominant coloring and the color type that you are. So it will be different from color type to color type how I would advise you to combine your colors. If you are a soft color type, I am a soft color type as well. You will have very blended and muted features, meaning that you would want to go for muted colors and you would want to combine them in these blended and tonal ways as well to make sure that they're not too overpowering on you. And again, to just to make sure that they work in harmony with your natural features. On the opposite side of a soft color type, we have the clear color type. If you are a clear color type, you have very contrasting features, meaning that you look better in contrasting combinations. So this is really important to, to keep in the back of your mind when you're combining colors, especially also if you're speaking universal ones. Because the following colors are universal, they will blend in perfectly with any colors you might already have in your wardrobe, which makes them extremely useful. So the 10 universal colors I'm going to go through today are defined by Color Me Beautiful, which is recognized as one of the leading companies within image, styling and color. So speaking of which colors might suit you, choosing the right metal when it comes to jewelry also has a big role to play. So for example, silver, rose gold, or gold. An easy way to try to figure out if you have a warm, neutral, or cool undertone is by doing the so-called jewelry test. This basically means that you try on first some silver jewelry, then some gold or rose gold jewelry, and whichever one you think works best for you and suits you best will also tell you what undertone you might have. So if silver jewelry looks best on you, you could have a cool undertone. If gold or rose gold looks better on you, you would probably have a warm undertone. And if you can't really decide you might be neutral, meaning that you can actually wear both. This will also give you an indication whether to go for warmer toned or cooler toned colors when speaking clothes. So as mentioned, today's video is kindly sponsored by Stillnest, a German-based ethical jewelry brand that I've known and loved for years. I actually have my own co-created collection with Stillnest, which I've had since 2018. And all of the pieces that Stillness make are made to order, which means they are really trying to minimize waste. They don't just produce without a purpose. And the materials they use are not only traceable, they also come from ethical sources. One of the things I love about Stillnest is the versatility of their jewelry. So you can mix and match most of their pendants, for example, across different pieces like earrings, necklaces, and bracelets. This way you can create many different looks, but only using a few pieces. And it's a great way to be able to create some unique and personal looks, as well as making it as bold or dainty as you wish. 
So not all color types look great in like a really crisp optical white. So a softer white is always good to go for if you're ever in doubt. If you feel like an optical white is just a bit too overpowering on you, a bit too contrasting for you, go for soft white that will never fail. It can be worn in so many different ways. It's just such a lovely basic color that you can wear in anything from a basic t-shirt to a classic shirt a um, more sort of romantic silk blouse for example you can even wear a pair of classic linen trousers in a in a soft white maybe even a pair of jeans stone and taupe are what most people would probably describe as neutrals so these would be perfect for something like a, a classic trench coat which is definitely a staple in my own capsule wardrobe especially during the spring and autumn time a wool coat would be lovely in one of these colors as well if you want to go for something a bit lighter during the cold and dark winter months but also something like a brushed wool scarf with a matching hat would be lovely choices for these colors Pewter is sort of a mix between gray and brown, I would say, and it's a lovely alternative to black, especially if you are, um, your coloring is more soft and if you feel in general that black can just be kind of overpowering on you, if you feel like black is definitely wearing you more than the other way around, then pewter would definitely be a lovely safe choice for you to go for. It's just as versatile as black and again, it just suits most people and it's super wearable. Periwinkle is a lovely blue color which you can both wear as a pop of color in your outfit. You can wear it head to toe, maybe in something like a special occasion dress or a suit even. Um, this would also make a lovely denim color. So if you like blue but you've just had trouble figuring out what kind of blue actually suits you, Periwinkle could be a great option for you. So purple is another universal color that suit most people. Purple is a bit more of an exciting color than blue, I guess. Um, it actually stands for creativity and sensitivity, but it can definitely still be worn in places where you would need to dress a bit more conservatively. So in professional work environments, like in an office, for example, you'd definitely still be able to wear something like purple, but it's just a bit more sensible, a bit more sensitive than blue, for example. So in general, when choosing green, especially if you love green, it can be essential to make a division between yellow based greens, like for example, a lime green or an apple green. And then there are the cooler toned greens, such as um, sea green, for example. So if you love green, but you're just a bit unsure of what shade to go for, you find it a, a big old mystery, then emerald green would definitely be a great option again, because it is a universal color. It works for most people, so it can be used in any item from like a jumper to a blouse, um, a dress, or even maybe just a few accessories to, to add a pop of color to your outfits. So teal is another lovely green color, which like emerald green, just brings another dimension to your wardrobe. So this is definitely a more cool kind of green. It makes a lovely pop of color in any outfit, just like with emerald. That could be something like a silk scarf, something you can wear close to your face where it will really have a big impact on you. I definitely also see this as an amazing color to wear in something like a classic wool coat, a blazer, an evening dress maybe. So this is quite a bright color that you can definitely use to inject more life into your outfits. Something you want to be aware of, especially if you are more of a soft color type or if you definitely look better in blended color combinations, make sure that you pair it in tonal color combinations where there's not too much contrast going on. As mentioned, you can definitely also use it as a pop of color just to inject some more life into your outfits. But you know, there are no rules here if you've stumbled upon a great basic item in this color, then maybe that could be something worth going for instead of always choosing the same neutral colors, for example. So really try to rethink the concept of choosing basic colors for your wardrobe. The final universal color I wanted to share with you today is obviously true red. True red is something that I think many people consider a classic and timeless color. People who normally wouldn't wear any colors tend to actually go for red as the exception for you know an accent color within their wardrobe. So red stands for confidence and energy and blush pink is just a bit more gentle. So red is, is a, a color again full of energy and it can definitely be worn 
in like the end of the week if you feel like you just need a bit of a mood booster to carry you through the rest of the week if you feel like your energy level has dropped a bit so you can definitely use this color as a as a mood enhancer tool like that in situations where you'd want to appear more calm though i would definitely be a bit careful about wearing red just because psychologically and obviously there's been a lot of research done on this psychologically red is quite a stimulating color for many people so that's just something worth thinking about when it comes to red so there you have it guys a handful of universal colors that work for pretty much everyone regardless of what color type you might be i really hope this video was helpful i hope it gave you some inspiration on injecting a few more colors to your wardrobe just to personalize even further and lastly of course i hope it took some of the mystery out of curating your very own color palette. A huge thank you to Stillnest for sponsoring today's video. There will be a discount code down below for you along with all of the items or all of the jewelry that I showcased in today's video. So in case you are looking to add some lovely, versatile and ethically made jewelry to your collection, look no further than the description box down below. Lastly, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your or everlasting support it means the world to me before you leave don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love to have you around if you're new around here with that take care and i will see you very soon for another video bye guys